Hi, and welcome back to my channel for another awesome video. Today's aim is patterns with exponents and the powers of 10. This is our fifth grade flashback, lesson 1-1. One -one. Our first problem, we have 10 to the first power. That's how you say that. So that just means we have 10 times itself. So we have 110, so that equals 10, which is the same as saying 10 times 1 equals 10. But it's really saying that we only have 110. All right, so looking at the second one, we have 10 to the second power. So that means we have 10 times 10. All right, and so for 10 times 10, how do we do that? We just multiply our first numbers, which is in the tens, and that's one times one, right? Uh -huh. So that's going to give us a one. And then how many zeros do we have? Two. Right, we have one here and one there, giving us two zeros. And that makes 100. What a great job, makes it 100. And times 10 times 10. And we do that the same. We do 1 times 1 times 1 equals what? 1. Exactly. 1. And how many zeros do we have? 1. 3. Right. 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3 zeros is in your answer. So then what's going to be the next one? 10 to the 4. How do we write that? 10 mm -hmm. times 10 mm -hmm. times 10 mm -hmm. times 10. Good job. Exactly. So the 4 means we have 4 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4. So in our answer, we should have a 1 because 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is still 1. Yeah. And we should have 1, 2, 3, four zeros in our answer, giving us 10,000. That's 1,000. All right. And so how do we write the last one? 10 mm -hmm. times 10 mm -hmm. times 10 mm -hmm. times 10 mm -hmm. times 10. There we go. Great job. So we write how many tens? One, two, three, four, five tens. And that's going to give us a one from one times one times one times one times one. And how many zeros in the answer? Five. Five zeros. Great job. One, two, three, four, five. Every three gets a comma. So that's a hundred thousand. Great job. For our second problem, they're similar, but this time we're going to be multiplying a whole number, which is 7, times our exponent. So it's the same thing. So we're going to do, we're going to write it out so we can solve it. So this just means we have 110. So we're going to rewrite it as 7 times 10. We only have 110. That's what the 1 means for the exponent, 110. But we also have to write the 7 in front. So 7 times 10 is how much? 70. Great job. 70. All right. So we're going to do the next one the same exact way. We're going to rewrite it. So we have 7 times what? Times 10 to the second. Well, instead of writing 10 to the second, we're going to write 10 times 10. We want to see everything so we can understand what this means. This means we have 10 two times. So now we have 7 times 10 times 10. And we're going to solve that the same way. We're going to multiply our first number. So we have 7 times 1 is how much? 7. Right. And 7 times 1 is how much? 7. seven. Exactly. So we keep that 7. Now, how many zeros is in our answer? 2. Exactly. We have two zeros, one and two, so our answer is 700. Great job. All right, 
So moving on to the next problem. Well, not next problem, excuse me, to the next one. We have 7 times 10 to the third. So how are we going to write that? 7 times 10. Mm-hmm. Times 10. Mm -hmm. Times 10. Great job. We have 10 to the third. That means we have three tens. One, two, and three. We still have it times seven. So we know our first number is going to be a what? Seven times? Seven. seven. So seven times one, that's what you were saying, right? Mm -hmm. Is seven. But we're going to keep doing that. So seven times one is seven. So seven times one again is still seven. And seven times one again is still seven. All right? So how many zeros is going to be in this answer? Three. Exactly. One, two, three. And that's going to give us the answer of 7,000. Great job. All right, so look for the next one. How are we going to write that? Seven times ten times 10 times 10 times 10. Great job. That's correct. We have four tens like the number four. We have one, two, three, and four, and it's all times seven. So our first number is going to be a what? Seven. Great job. Seven. And how many zeros in this answer? Four. Exactly. You have two ways to know. You have four tens here. Well, you just remember your exponent is four. So one, two, three, four. It's going to give you an answer of 70,000. Great job. And for the last one, how do we write that? Seven mm -hmm. times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. How many is that? You've got to count it. How many times for that? One, two, three, four. So we got to do times 10 one more time. Exactly. So when doing this, always count how many tens you have. One, two, three, four, and five. That's what my exponent says I need to have. So I have my five. So I can now I can multiply. And seven times one is seven. Mm -hmm. Seven times one is still seven. Seven times one is still seven. Seven times one is still seven. And seven times one again is how much? There you go. And how many zeros are going to be in this answer? Five. Great job. One, two, three, four, five. Every three gets a comma. And that gives us an answer of 700,000. Great job. So moving on to problem number three. We have a problem similar so we can practice. So now we have 3 times 10 to the first. So how are we going to write that equation? 3 times 10. Exactly. 3 times 10 equals how much? 30. Great job. All right. So moving on to the next one, how are we going to write that? 3 times 10 times 10. Great job. 3 times 10 to the 10. We have a 2 exponent and we have our two tens. So now, what's going to be the answer and how do we find it? We do 3 times 1 is how much? And times 1 is 3. And times 1 again is still going to keep you at 3, right? Mm -hmm. And how many zeros are going to be the answer? 2. Great job. So we have an answer of 300. So how do you write the next one? 3 times 10 to the 3. Times 10 times 10 times 10. Great job. 3 times 10 times 10. And that gives you an answer how much? 3 times 3. What's the answer? 3,000. 3, there you go. Great job. All right, we're taking the train wheels off. This is a review. You already know. Let's show. All right, so now how do we write the next one? 3. Mm -hmm. Times ten. Mm -hmm. Times ten. Mm -hmm. Times ten. Count those tens. One, two, three. Times mm -hmm. ten. All right. Always count them. You got to make sure you got a number four. We need one, two, three, four. And so what's the answer now? Two. Count your places.
30,000. There we go. Great job. That gave us four zeros. First three, comma, zero, and a three in front. We have 30,000. Great job. All right, so for the last one, how do we write that? Three times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Count them up. One, two, three, four times 10. All right, got to always count them. We need five for five. One, two, three, four, five. So what's our answer going to be? 30. Not 30. We already got 30. Count your places. $300,000. There we go. Great job. 300000 One, two, three, comma. One, two, and a three in the front. Great job. So moving on to our fourth problem. This is similar, and we're just going to make sure we understand what we're doing and how that is supposed to be expressed. So now we have 2 times 10. So we're going to write this using exponents. We're going to write 2 times 10 to the first. Because that's what that means. We have 110. And we have 110, but we're also going to write that answer. So what does 2 times say? 12. Great job. All right. So now moving on to the next one. We're going to write 2 times 10 to the what? 10 to the second. Exactly. And why is that? Because we have two zeros. This is the counting of the zeros. And 2 times 100 is how much? 2 times 1 is how much? 2. And how many zeros in our answer? 2. So what is our answer? 200. Great job. We have an answer of 200. Now moving on to the next one. Can you help me write this one? How do we write this? 2 times 10 to the third. There we go. Great job. We have three zeros here is why we have a three for our exponent. And so if we do our multiplication, two times one is how much? Two. And how many zeros in our answer? One, two, three, giving us an answer of 2,000. Great job. So now how do we write the next one? Two to the four, two times 10 to the four. Two times 10 to the four, exactly. Why? We have one, two, three, four zeros. So we have a number four as our exponent. And when we do the multiplication, two times one is how much? Two. How many zeros in our answer? Four. Exactly. So we get an answer of 20,000. Great job. And for the last one? Two times 10 to the fifth. Two times 10 to the fifth. We have our one, two, three, four, five. So that's correct. And when we do our multiplication, what answer do we get? Two. Two, uh-huh, and then what? Five zeros. Great job. Two and five zeros, giving us how much? 200,000. Great job. All right, so moving on to number five. We have nine times 10 to the first. So how do we write that? Nine times 10. Mm-hmm, and what does that equal? Nine. Great job. One ten, first power. How do we write the next one? Nine times. 10 times 10. Great job. Two tens to the second power. And what's our answer? 900. Great job. Next one. 9 times 10 times 10 times 10. Great job. And what's our answer? 9,000. Great job. Three zeros, 10 to the third. Next one. 9 times 10 times 10 times 10. Great job. That's right. Go ahead and count them. Got to verify. Always verify. You want to get it right? Well, might not get it right the first time, but if you go back and check, you can double check and you can get it right. So what's our answer? 90,000. 
Great job. 90,000 four zeros. And the last one. Nine times ten times ten times ten times ten. You count it? One, two, three, four times ten. All right. Got to always count. And what's our answer for this last one? Great job. 900,000. That would be a little better than that. 900,000. Great job. Right, so moving on, we have four more problems on the board that we're going to work with. And we have six, seven, eight, and nine. So the first one says, Four times 1,000. How else can we write that? Four, four times 10 to the third. Great job. I was going to say, given what we just learned, that's exactly what we want to write. Four times 10 to the third. We have our three zeros. We get our three exponents. So now let's write that out in the equation to see what that looks like. How would we write that out? How will we write the equation for this? 4 times 10. Mm -hmm. Times 10. Mm -hmm. Times 10. Great job. And what do we get an answer of? 4,000. 4,000. Great job. All right. So moving on to the next one. We have 10 to the third times 6. How can we write that to make it easier for us? 10 times. 10 times. 10 times 6 to the third. Not quite. Good try. We're going to break this one down first since they have it written first. So we're going to do our three tens. 10 times 10 times 10. And then we're going to add on our times 6. And we're going to do our multiplication. So we know 6 times 1 is how much? 6. We keep the 6 because it's only times 1 again. And how many zeros did we have? 3. There we go. So our answer is how much? 6,000. Great job. 6,000. Alright, so moving on to the next one. We have 5 times 10 to the second. How can we write that? 5 times 10 times 10. Exactly. 5 times 10 times 10. And how much does that equal? 500. Great job. 500. Why? We got two zeros and 5 times 1. All right. So for our last one for this set, we have 8 times 10 to the fifth. How else can we write that? 8 times 10 times 10 times 10. Times 10. You're always short on 5. Can we count? 1, 2, 3, 4, times 10. Okay. Please don't be short. Just take the time to go back and count. All right. So now we get an answer of what? 800,000. There we go. Great job. You come up with the right answers, though. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what matters. So make sure you verify so you can guarantee yourself to get it right. And that's a great job. Problem um, for today. We want to write 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 with an exponent. And I want you to explain how you decided to write the exponent. So what do you think we should write? What exponent can we write to replace that? 10 times 10 to 6. So you said the right part at the end. Yeah. What did you say at the beginning? Ten times. No ten times. We just want to write an exponent. What would be the exponent for ten times ten times ten times ten times ten times ten times ten? Times 10? ten to the six. Great job. And why did you pick ten to the six? Because it has six zeros. Exactly. Or six tens. Six tens. Exactly. And that is the right answer. Great job. So guess what? 
you got through the review knowing that you know how to do the exponents of 10. I was so happy that you remember. And now, when you see those problems, just go right at them and get them, right? Great job. That concludes our video for today. I really hope that you got something out of it. And always remember, it's not what you don't know, but always what you're willing to learn. Until the next time, I'll catch you there. And welcome back to my channel for another awesome video. Today's aim is patterns with the exponents. <laughs> So now we're at the end of the video. <laughs>